Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you, first of all, how to create a table of contents and then how you can have things removed or not shown within the table of contents list. So first of all, to create a table of contents, you must use heading styles in a document. So this first one is a heading style one and you do that from the home tab. These are the styles that you can see there. The second one there, program, is a heading two. Chapter one is a heading two also. Now to do the table of contents, if I get myself um, a space at the top here, just press enter, come down, to put that back to normal on the top line. References is where I need to go. And then I do a table of contents from this first button and select the option you want, which is gonna be this one. Doesn't matter which one you pick. So there's a list. So every single heading style in this document has an entry in the table of contents, as you can see. And I can use these, if I hold my control key down, that becomes a hyperlink, if you like, to that section. But I can also go to the view tab and put navigation pane on, and you can quickly navigate through these sections because these are the heading styles. So heading styles is a really cool thing to do in Word. Let's say that I want to get rid of chapter three from this heading style. So what I'll do is highlight chapter three and then back to references and then do not show in the table of contents. And it basically knocks that off. The heading style's gone there. And now if I get myself back to the top of, of the document to where the table of contents is, it's still showing it there. So I need to click into this and then update the table and then update entire table and then chapter three has disappeared from the table of contents and it's also disappeared from the navigation pane as well because it's no longer a heading so using this feature here is the same as going back to home and removing it by selecting it and putting it to normal and then just updating the table so it's either which way you do it you're just taking that out of the table of contents you might not want it as a you might want to be a header but not part of this so it's totally up to you so this is just a very short video of how to adjust the table of contents if you don't want a header to appear in in the table of contents simply either change the style of it back to normal or in references use this feature do not show in the table of contents so hopefully that was of use Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.